Hello again. So, as the ending to that video um, alluded to, and um, such, I thought of something else I wanted to talk about, and um, <laughs> I thought of a couple other things too. Well, at least one other thing. So I'm just gonna talk. Um, Final Fantasy. I mentioned way back a while ago that I wanted to, um, you know, get through all the Final Fantasy games and make progress and tell YouTube and others about it. And I have made lots of progress. I am, in fact, um, working on the last dungeon. Um, for those who are familiar with the game, it's the one where you have to, like, go back in time to the Chaos Temple and... I guess from the glimpse of the ending that I saw at the on the FAQ, the final boss is chaos or something, but I don't know. Um, I try not to read too much FAQ stuff, but occasionally I end up getting lost, and it's much less frustrating to go online and read about it than to try and work through it on my own. And it isn't all that rewarding, I've found, to go work through it on my own, so... You know, there isn't much of a point to, you know, doing something that is frustrating and not rewarding when it's done, when it's just a game that I'm trying to enjoy. Um, it's much more rewarding to <laughs> take a peek at where I'm supposed to go next and then go through the actual effort of going there. Um, I actually got, for the first time in that dungeon, um, in a long time, to an enemy that I had trouble with. Um, it was an encounter of four green dragons, and one of these encounters, not so bad. Having it as a random encounter that I come across a great deal is kind of kicks... Eh. Yeah, I'm just going to swear. Kicks my ass. Um, <laughs> I hesitate for a moment because it's like, do I swear when I'm on YouTube videos? Yes, I swear quite a bit. Um, so yeah. So, I came across that, that was a little frustrating, and haven't really picked up the game since then, and that was maybe a week or two ago, but, um, I'm totally gonna start up again, um, either figure out a spell that makes, because they basically have this breath weapon that affects the whole party and does, like, pretty significant damage to, um, even, to actually more damage to my fighting characters, um, which makes me suspect it's like magic damage, because my casters both have like a magic resistance um, ribbon thing. Um, so, I'm going to figure out if I can cast a spell or something when I first see one to resist that. Oh, well, excuse me. Uh, yeah, I'm tired as usual. But, um, if I can figure out something to make that cause less damage, then I can probably handle it. And if not, I just need to go through and level up some. But it doesn't seem like I should need to level, because I've been handling bosses, like, really easily. So, <laughs> it shouldn't be that much harder to be fighting the random encounters in the next dungeon after the boss that you had, you know, an easy time with. Anyway, um, <laughs> all of my Final Fantasy ramblings aside, which if you haven't played me nothing and, you know are completely unproductive. Um, not that anything I say on here is productive. Enough sidetracking. <laughs> the other topic I thought of was food. Um, I have been doing all sorts of culinary experimentation lately because I am a poor vegetarian and the combination of those two things makes it very difficult to really eat anything. Um, However, I've gotten very creative. I discovered that um, the Top Ramen brand um, has one flavor. The Maruchan doesn't seem to have any, but the Top Ramen Oriental flavor doesn't actually have any meat stuff in it. So I can eat that. And I've discovered all sorts of ways to screw around with it to have it taste good in different ways. Um, I've tried... Uh, some things with just the noodles, like I've cooked, uh, I've like cooked the noodles 
and then strain them and then mix them with like olive oil and basil and garlic powder and that is so good um and different stuff like that using just the noodles oh and also um melting peanut butter and um olive oil in a pot in one pot while i boil the ramen in the other pot then straining the ramen mixing in with the uh, peanut butter is also good and then i've tried other things using just the flavor packet um like for instance mixing the flavor packet into eggs is absolutely delicious again with olive oil because olive oil i don't know if i've mentioned before but olive oil is the key to making anything taste so much better um i highly recommend if you cook anything basically anything that you cook in a pan cooking it with olive oil makes it better uh <laughs> you know i really like grilled cheese and if you cook grilled cheese with olive oil that tastes better than doing like margarine or whatever to grease the pan um just just use olive oil you, you'll thank me if you don't already um and eggs especially yeah I've already been through all that. The point is, um, getting into a lot of stuff, getting creative, um, ramen flavor packet with eggs, really good. Um, stuff like that. And I've even been thinking that once I get a camera that I can bring over to the kitchen with me, that isn't, you know, tethered to the computer, um, I would very much like to do, like, a little, um, broke vegetarian cooking show you know just using all of these relatively inexpensive ingredients such as you know eggs and ramen and stuff like that and making just really good tasting stuff um that's all vegetarian because that's what i am i'm a poor vegetarian <laughs> um it's funny uh kate and i were actually talking um, earlier, and I know she's said on her video thing all the stuff that she is allergic to, um, you know, and <laughs> Susie's IMing me, um, <laughs> tugging at my hair as it turns out. <laughs> anyway, um, so I was saying that. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm living up to my, my my message. Never mind. <laughs> I was saying that. Um, I was talking to Kate, and she mentioned in one of her videos all the stuff that <laughs> she is still <laughs> um, alert that all the stuff that she is allergic to. Susie's still throwing me off by having me again and saying, "Oops." <laughs> um, <laughs> but. Yes, she was saying all the stuff that she's allergic to on her video, as I've said for the third time straight, without being able to complete it properly. And her and I were talking about that recently, since she's coming over, and there really isn't anything in common that we can eat. <laughs> um, like, basically any of the sources of protein that I still get, she's allergic to, and any of the sources of protein she eats are meat that I don't eat. <laughs> so we don't have like any food crossover. Um except maybe like side dishes and stuff. But even that's kind of iffy. So, um when she comes over we're basically going to have to cook like completely separately. Like I might cook my, you know, fake chicken cutlet which has, you know, egg and um milk in it. And, well, egg and whey, I think, is the thing that is actually in it. But, whatever the case, two things she's allergic to. And, um, she will cook real chicken, which I don't eat, in another pan. But then we can, like, season it the same way. And it'll be kind of like we're eating the same thing, but not at all. And in two completely separate pans, segregated from each other. Um, but yeah, we'll work it out. Um, anyway. I guess that's about it, especially because I'm down to less than a half a minute, it looks like. Um, I've managed to ramble away a whole ten minutes on only two topics, despite the fact that I got, like, a bunch of topics into the last one. So, I'm gonna go. Hope you enjoyed my 20 minutes of rambling between this and the last video. And, later. <laughs>